Hi everyone. <clears throat> so I wanted to check in and look back at my artistic goals for 2019. So I watched my January um, art vlog and I was like, oh yeah, I definitely put some goals in there. And then when I was looking through, I realized that I didn't actually talk about goals for this year in that portion of the video. I just kind of talked about what last year was like, which I think is very indicative of the way my year has been going and also uh, the state of my head at the time, which was in a fairly tired and mixed up state. And I would say that that has continued for the last six months as uh, things have gone on. I haven't really um, settled down into any sort of steady work schedule or into any organized situation. And I feel like, I feel disappointed in myself in a few ways because of that. Um, I feel like I should have worked harder at setting goals and pursuing them for the last six months uh, because I could have been further along than what I am now. But I guess there's no point in lamenting that considering I can't go back and change it. So as of today, um, June 13th, I want to just put these goals out into the world and really try to focus my energies in so that I actually accomplish them, accomplish something by the end of the year and not feel like I've floundered around um, in my artistic goals. So <clears throat> I have four very specific goals here that are tied to other things, but I've put the wheels in motion for the first one, which is redoing my website. I've talked about this before. I need to update it with my newest work. And part of that is having some of my newest work photographed. And so I did set that up for this weekend. My brother-in-law kindly is coming over for dinner and he's gonna take some photos for me of the last two pieces in my crow series. And once those photos are finished, I'm going to get my new website template set up or my husband's gonna do that for me. And then I'm gonna start building the new website. So that's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. The next one is make work for my liminal series, which I have been showing you in my past vlogs. Um, I am on the Virginia Woolf piece still. That piece is going to take quite a long time. There's a lot of hand embroidery work going on in it right now. Um, but what I'd like to get done in the next two two weeks, no, the next month, in one month, my, we are leaving for vacation. So mid-July, we are leaving for vacation on our road trip to Alberta. And I, my goal is to hunker down and get some stuff accomplished in the next month before we head out. Because obviously when you're on vacation for two weeks, you don't really do a lot of artwork. So I'm going to push myself quite hard to specific make specific goals and accomplish them in the next month so that when I get back I can kind of you know continue on with a little bit of momentum and not get totally derailed hopefully um okay apply for a residency I've talked about that in another video as well this is a um, residency at an art center in a neighboring suburb of Vancouver to me and um, I the application process is in November so um, working on this work I'm doing now um, getting it as as prepared as possible for the application will be the goal for that and then in November I'll be able to submit the application and then apply for solo shows for my curl work so once I get those last two pieces photographed again a lot was hinging on that one little step I can then take the complete body of work and start to apply to galleries to have them shown together. And so that will require me kind of rewriting my first proposal because I've already sent some of this work out on proposals, just getting that to a really finished polished state. And um, 
submitting. So just looking up when galleries are taking submissions. And unfortunately, most galleries have different formats. So they want the photos labeled in different ways. They want a, they want a photo list. They want a separate artist statement from the bio. Like they all of them have different stipulations of how they want applications done. And so that is like administrative work that takes a really long time and is very frustrating but it's the only way to apply for shows unless you're a big famous artist and galleries just are knocking on your door which i am not so that's goal number four so those are four very clear <laughs> simplify goals that i have to accomplish in the next six months i would really like my website to be finished I'm gonna say by my birthday. So that's near the end of November. So I'm gonna put that as my time finish period. It'd be really nice to have it ready to go when I'm sending out applications as well, but I, I don't know how long it will take me to get it done. So um, the this is my little video to myself, trying to encourage myself to set some actual goals and get them accomplished for the end of the year um, and I hope that if you are an artist yourself that you are uh, accomplishing some of the goals that you set out and if not maybe you should try this method too I really don't know if this is gonna help me but um, I feel like I have to try and give myself a kick in the butt so that's what this video is all about this is kind of what's happening in my artistic life right now so I just want to try to keep it real so hopefully next time I make an art video it'll be it'll contain a little bit more art in it so thanks so much for watching